Uh, how it's going today is 16 of February, Friday, and we are taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities are available. And, uh, it's something that I'm taking a look at after the Atomic Energy Authority. Uh, in this video, what I should be doing, that's going to be taking a look at the uh, CCFE Fusion Center. Uh, briefly, I can take a look at that, but I think well, more important would be taking a look at different organizations. Uh, that's what I'm going to do in a second. First, uh, we, we can briefly take a look at this. Uh, fusion research facility, jets, final three team experiments yield new energy records, right? So perhaps that would be worth taking a look at this organization, but it, it, I would say rather let's take a look at something else. Uh, it's something that I have mentioned previously, that would be different organizations. Let's try to reach out to you, though, so they are, they are, are partner organizations. We are Colham Center for Fusion Energy, it's a case national fusion research laboratory from theoretical physics to operating key major experiments and carrying out advanced reactor engineering. We lead the world in putting this transformative energy technology on the grid. So this is what they are doing, right? Uh, let's, wow, so that would be an example. Let's try to charter the partner organizations. Let's see how we can engage with this organization that would be a uh, national nuclear user facility. Uh, I think that would be just another way of engaging with them, that's actually more of them perhaps. I could DM me if you would ask me most likely and there is additional information in University of Birmingham, a high flux accelerator driven neutron facility can now be used. So they might have a lot of facilities. And that's how many partners they having, right? As of now, it's something I was taking a look at in the beginning of this uh, number of videos. Uh, finances, if it's something you're self interested, there might be some opportunities when it comes to a national nuclear laboratory. They, this organization might have finances, right? Based on where my business is based, I might need to collaborate and work together with, as of now, University of Bristol, as well as I'm going to be looking to engage in perhaps with Cardiff. Uh, I can't see Cardiff now, but perhaps the way we Cardiff and or more of the South Wales, most likely, as well as I'm going to be looking to engage with the University of Edinburgh and we'll see how I can establish my business there. Uh, it seems that they have been made a lot of investments when it comes to some of those facilities and it comes to the University of Sheffield, they might have necessary facilities there. And uh, or perhaps finance might even come from UK's Atomic Energy Authority. How many partners, right? If we're sourcing computers, that would be perhaps Oxford they recently invested a lot, as well as the University of Bristol recently invested a lot in uh, uh, high performance computers. So perhaps that would be a partner, so depending on what problem we're looking to solve, right? <laughs> that would be just an example of the process, right? There's institute there, I don't know, there might be a private institute, but it's uh, been recommended to me, but we can briefly take a look at it, but I don't know, I don't know, usually I'm not that uh, optimistic about some of those institutes, but either way, the uh, opportunities are there, right, uh, would uh, proceed with caution, <laughs> so they say, that's what they get national institute for advanced materials research and innovation, right. Uh, they might be receiving a lot of finances from private businesses. Sometimes the, the website, this government's website, is a little bit clunky. I don't know, I know that there's a government there. Uh, this website, I don't know who is there. There might be a private businesses. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, right? I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but that's a feeling. <laughs> uh, not necessarily a feeling supported by facts, right? <laughs> Since I always take a look at the uh, AI research and uh, that would be Institute of Turin. I think that's the uh, name of the uh, institute that is receiving a lot of finance from UK when it comes to AI technologies. Again, I don't know that institute. I don't know the people there. It's in, if you were asking, perhaps that's a private business is there. <laughs> and that's the why that I'm getting with that institute and this one. But the opportunity is out there. I'll try to reach out to this organization. How we can work together, right? 
our state-of-the-art equipment and facilities are open to all okay uh, which is great uh, then to all that means they not necessarily would uh, you still need to undergo some training <laughs> okay uh, after you have received training so you're not necessarily would break that equipment <laughs> then it's open to all right equipment and facility research the Roy's offers in industry and academia were capable to make and or uh, characterize materials, components, and systems. Over 150 million of pounds of equipment is available to easily access the technical support. Uh, so they have received a grade. So now, perfect, perfect. So I'm looking to the charters organization and see how we can work together, right? Uh, yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a course that would be a very important part uh, when it comes to personal development and understanding and then uh, take a look at business operations, right? I have published a course uh, just on over an hour of video format. I can uh, share some examples in the PDF and or text format as well if that's your preferred method of learning things. Uh, within this course, I'll be 12 different points, just to name the few that will be how to set targets, how to structure goals, and as well as uh, how to have a budget if it's not something that you have worked on previously. I'm looking to share that information within the course. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to chat to me. If not, there's going to be a QR code in the corner. Come from this website below. I'm looking to share this course with as many people as I can. Just to summarize uh, this video, right, uh, you would be taking a look at then or trying to introduce people perhaps with the process, right, when it comes to uh, offering products and services to organizations and they would be websites or platforms where they would publish a lot of tenders, so to say, and tenders and tendering process and everything perhaps worth its own video, right. Uh, but briefly, right, so that would be potentially another way of where you can potentially sell your products and services, right? Let's close on that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, there are a lot of information is in France. <laughs> so I don't know all the details. I haven't read any of the information, right? Phone numbers, uh, it's not necessarily your case. Phone numbers, perhaps that would be, uh, well, since we're taking a look at uh, at, uh, atomic energy. And the sector fusion sector might be a lot of partnerships with Europe and all the details, all the contracts, and all there's some risk involved. Uh, so there's options there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.